I don't mean to brag, but my videos are enjoyed by well over four people worldwide. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's your favorite baby girl, Wit, and in today's video, as you guys have already read from that title, I am going to be just bringing some of my feminine fragrances. The feminine fragrances that are just good all year round. These are great for bridal showers, baby showers, wedding parties, absolutely anything. I feel like these fragrances work. If this is your first time stumbling upon any one of my videos, hi. I'm Wit, your favorite baby girl. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you enjoy the vibe here please make sure to subscribe if you're a returning subscriber hey welcome back i honestly appreciate you guys all okay the ogs and the new ones i see all of you thank you so much if you guys have not followed me on instagram please make sure to follow me on instagram that is easy access to me when i'm not here i am always on instagram okay you want to feel like you could text me just shoot me a dm you know what i'm saying shoot me a dm and we could chat and we could talk okay so the first one we're gonna go into is this one right here I don't think I have ever talked about Parfums de Marley Delina, okay? This is Delina Exclusive. I always, always, always have preferred the exclusive over the original. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the pink crystal being at the top of the bottle. I don't know. I just really enjoy it. I'm pretty sure anybody that does a feminine list, I'm pretty sure this fragrance has to be on it. Super feminine. Yes, it has some similarities to the original, so I don't necessarily think you need to have both. If you prefer one over the other, it's fine to have um, the one you prefer in your collection. Um, but in this fragrance, there's a number of different notes, guys. There's Ambroxan, lychee, pear, grapefruit, there's vanilla. This is like something that is heavily complimented in my collection guys compliment me on this fragrance all the time if I wear this in the office I already know I'm gonna be getting compliments the whole day because people just seem to really really like it I have to be real and stick to my truth it's nice but I don't see all the hype like I'm not gonna lie that's just my opinion Baccarat I see all the hype this fragrance it's nice but i just don't see all the hype about it um and i think it's just i think the hype is really because it's mass appealing for any one of those situations a nice spring day easter sunday a bridal shower a wedding whatever it is this is my first pick the bottle just do quim, 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 quim. the bottles are always falling bah, 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 bah. Just like that. The next one we have is La Via Spell. Guys, this for years was my entire jam. Honestly, I love this fragrance. It's so sweet. It's warm. I really, really enjoy it. And it's another one that to last through those nice events that I mentioned. It's a warm and sweet gourmand. It has iris, patchouli, and vanilla. It is a floral perfume. Patchouli, Arabian, jasmine. We have sponge sugar, warm vanilla, and orange blossoms. If you guys are not new here, I absolutely love orange blossom and I love sugar. Anything sweet. This fragrance will get you compliments. It lasts for hours. It's just one of those that honestly is an easy reach. If I really don't know what I want to wear, but honestly, you just want to go with something that's going to definitely just be appealing the whole day. It just hits beautifully, like honestly. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this fragrance over and over and over again because this is not something that's new. It's old. You guys can also purchase this at Sephora. La Via Bell means life is beautiful. And when you're wearing this fragrance, trust me, it feels like life is absolutely beautiful. Like honestly, this is one for the books. If you guys have not tried this, definitely get your nose on it. And if you guys have tried this and you enjoy this, guys, vouch for me in the comments. Um, and this is another one that's not even too expensive. Like it's not niche, it's designer. In the last year and a half, this is my second bottle of this. Really, really enjoy this. The next one that I definitely think is for like my grown babes really warm and just grown and just giving those vibes that I really enjoy. It's Ivory Root. Guys, this is not a new fragrance, but as of lately, I want to say in the last two years, I've been hearing a lot of noise. It has sandalwood. It has spicy notes. Definitely has this leafy, leafy twist. Guys, I love to mix this with every type of vanilla, okay? So that's Kaali vanilla. That's sweet vanilla. Every type of vanilla, I love to mix this with. Guys, this is one of those that is niche. I know you can find this on Discounters websites for a good discount, okay? Definitely unisex, creamy and sweet. Woody, spicy, juiciness, goodness, really. Okay, enough about this. Let's get on to the next one. 
The next one should be no surprise, Baccarat Rouge 540. I choose this one for this specific list. Everyone always seems to still smell this for hours and hours and hours. Like this is like something that goes on without end. Saffron, Amberwood, guys, on paper and on my skin, this was absolutely divine. I will never forget my first experience smelling this and being like, yeah, this is it. I love it. I still feel like even though I do not like to pick my babies and pick and choose, I still feel like this is number one, especially this bottle. Babe bought this bottle for me. I absolutely love it. Guys, if you guys are keep up with my vlogs, you guys would already know <laughs> that I accidentally left this in the bathroom. And I feel like since I left it in the bathroom, it, ha it just has not been the same concentration. It just has not been the same. Um, as much as I try, okay, I have the extrait, so I do try to mix it with the extrait, but... I just feel like it, it never performed the same after I left this in the bathroom. So that's a warning to you guys. Do not leave your fragrances in the bathroom. It was a mistake. If you guys haven't watched that vlog, I'll make sure I leave the vlog down below for you guys in the description box. But guys, this is everything. It's like the most noticeable fragrance like of all time, in my personal opinion. When I wear this, I get compliments left, right, and center, especially to a party. Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge. Okay? The next one. You guys are going to be so shocked by this. So shocked. Because I know you guys really, really sit down and think Whitney does not use affordable fragrances. I don't know who told you that. Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Guys, I know you guys can find this for less than 60 bucks. Like, I know it. Um, Sometimes you can even find Juicy Couture fragrances at like TJ Maxx. Like, just really random. On the random, you can definitely find this. This is just caramel, vanilla, sweet, 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 sweet. A little bit fruity white floral. For some notes, we have wild berries, we have honeysuckle, we have caramel. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other notes that we have in this fragrance. But guys, this thing right here, it's so sweet. Like, honestly, this is when I just want to shock them. Like, I usually add this on top of whatever I want to wear. This is a shock them fragrance. I did, I had the original Viva La Juicy, which I believe is all done, or I gave it away one of the two. But this gold, I'm so happy to have it back into my collection. You don't understand. I'm so happy to have it back. The next one is Christian Dior and it's Ambre Nuit guys this is very very warm okay i love intoxicating richly warm fragrances and this is very very warm it's amber it's a little bit citrus and it's rose you guys already know i am not a huge rose fan but this one right here absolute love the longevity is great I love to mix this with oud espahan really really love it vanilla um de aroma was not a huge love for me i have tried that fragrance three times and it just didn't like it wasn't a love it was just a like but i'm really saffronade guys Tapana had me in a chokehold, had me in a complete chokehold for such a long time. It's just so warm. It makes my mouth water. It's the same vibe of the Love Don't Be Shy. The same vibe as the Memo Sinatra. Same vibe as House of Siage Benevolence. This one is the only one that makes my mouth water. It is such a beautiful, creamy seductive fragrance absolutely love this this is even one that my boyfriend actually really likes when i wore this he has complimented me on this baby and it's just a saffronade mixed with gentle fluidity gold it should have about around the same dent because most times i mix them together like sweet white floral creamy decadent i don't know parfums de marley the fragrances that they do that's targeted towards women i have to give them a true 10 out of 10 when it comes to their feminine targeted fragrances because these fragrances literally can do no wrong like i really really love how they smell lost the footage of the ending of this guys thank you so much for watching up until this point if you stuck around to this point drop some orange hearts and some pink hearts down below thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and until my next one mwah, bye guys